Hello family, welcome back to another video. My name is Ditsekho, also known as the Afro Baum Queen. To those who are returning, thank you, thank you so much for your continued support. And for those who are joining us for the very first time, a warm welcome to you. Hope you find your place in this family and we grow together. It is unboxing time, yes. So I've bought a couple of things that I'm gonna unbox and I'm gonna do it right here with you guys over day. Um, I'll unbox as and when I go over the days. Enjoy unboxing with me. Okay, one thing about me, I have become a number one fan of online shopping and I am so grateful for the likes of Take A Lot and Shein. So those are the two online platforms that I use a lot. So what I love about I Take A Lot is that I see something, they go find it for me and then they bring it to my doorstep. So I don't have to worry. And also, I think that because it's online, you know what you're going to spend before you spend it. Unlike when you go to the mall, um, you've got an idea of buying something. The next thing you get there, you've bought way more than you were supposed to buy. But if it's, an, if it's online, I feel like you've got better control when it comes to the budget and all. But anyway, so these are the few items that I bought. What is that? It's mommy's beautiful things. Mommy's beautiful mirror. It's a tray. Ah, how stunning is this? This is so cool. So this is one of those decorative trays i saw this and i was like oh my goodness i want it is smaller than i expected but i like it nonetheless i love the the marble art going on there i love the fact that the background is black and the touch of gold it's just it's perfect especially for my white coffee table i really really like it one thing about it though i made a mistake of putting it on my table without putting anything on it in terms of underneath and then it scratched my table but anyway moving on to the next item so this is a little calendar it's a manual calendar i bought it mainly for two reasons number one i need to keep track of the date but number two i need to keep this little man busy so every day it will be his duty to change um the dates initially i saw a black one without the age and it was written in white and then when i went back it was sold out oh my heart and then later a few months later even then i found this white one and i was like you know what i'll just settle i was not happy with the age but you know what it's fine um i wanted the calendar and i wanted this exact calendar in terms of the art the, and everything so i settled for it but hey it's growing on me i must say Okay, moving on to other things that I now like to do. Let me tell you a little story. So, I don't have green fingers naturally, but my sister got me into it. Okay, so her and her husband once bought me a strawberry little plant, which died. Um, I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not proud, but it died. And then when we went for my vow renewal in George, I used roses and orchards. So obviously on the orchards, I took the flowery part of the orchard and I used it on my bouquet. And when we are about to leave the hotel, my sister's like, you're not leaving this plant here. I'm like, yeah, but I've used them. They've served their purpose. We can now, they can throw them in the bin. She was like, no, we are flying back home with them. And let me tell you, that was the best thing that my sister has made me do. <laughs> because now i'm just so in love i can't help it i go as far as buying planting soil as you can see like professional planting soil i bought i buy plants and i'm just so happy i don't have issues with four plants per se but i just love 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 the live the live ones more but yeah basically this is me replanting one that i got recently and it's it's very nice i can't wait for spring 
So this is a random footage of somebody just ending their keep in my house. That's all, guys. It's no child labor or anything like that. He's just doing his part. <laughs> so this little guy I found outside. Um, it was abandoned and i've been seeing it for weeks i don't know why i left it for so long when i knew that eventually i'm going to pick it up so i picked it up i tried to replant it mm, to be honest um it did not turn out great it's still dead i'm actually thinking of replanting it um but without the soil just put the roots in water in a glass and just leave it there and let's see how that goes because as we speak it's been a couple of weeks and nothing is happening guys nothing is happening with this little bugger but nonetheless it's a very nice i think it's a small orchard i'm not sure i'm not sure but it looks like it anyway now we're going to move on to my orchards that i brought with me from george guys <laughs> I flew with these things on the plane. Can you imagine the drama? You're not supposed to squash them. You can't put them there um, on the overhead cabinets. So I was literally having them on the floor. And it was such a mission. But eventually when we got home, I just left them in this um, planters of theirs until I bought them proper uh, flower pots. So I bought them these white um, flower pots from Pep, the Pep Home, yes. I don't remember how much they were, but this one that Hubby's busy with, it's, I bought them from Take A Lot, two of them, um, so that they can make a nice set. So I planted the orchards in the smaller ones that I got from Pep Home. I think it was 130A1. The other one, my cousin actually bought it for me um, I met her in the mall and she was like, Cuz, what can I buy you? I was like, no, you can actually buy me a flower pot. So she bought me that. So guys, this is my orchards a few weeks later. I think it was about three weeks. No, two. When they started doing that and I was so happy. Guys, I've got four. I've got a brand new one over here. Oh my goodness. And we've got a new baby. This one just joined the family. Ma, mm -hmm. what are you waiting for? I am beating you in the first battle. This looks cool. What? This, this, this place. Really? Yes. So you like the changes? Yes. <coughs> I am building. Guys, these are the pots that I could afford right now. The actual pots that I want, they cost about 15 grand and they're from Pressless. <laughs> I'll probably in, insert a picture so you can see what they look like. Oh, those pots. I can't get over them, okay? I cannot get over them, but for now, I still need a decent set of pots, man stick. So I thought to myself, okay, here are pots from Take a Lot. They are like three times less than the actual pots that I want, which I will definitely get later. But for now, these will have to do. So let's go. Look at that. Hello, babies. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That finish. Isn't it just amazing? Oh, 
So I guess these are the stands for the pots. When the pot is hot, you put it on the counter and you enjoy your pots. As I said, I've got two of those. And then I've got a stunning little pot over here. goodness and these just stunning look at the shine so this is the inside these are obviously non-stick they're a bit rough so i guess they're not as sensitive to your steel utensils so yes i'll be using the plastic ones but look at that this is berlinga and then we've got more underneath here oh hello babies Welcome to Mama. Look at this. Guys. Is this stunning or is the, oh, it's the finishing for me? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at how stylish that handle is. Look at that. Love, 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 love it. This is bigger. It's a casserole. Oh, they are stunning, guys. My goodness. I got these for 3,100. They were initially 4.3, I think. And then the next time I checked them, they were like a thousand rand less. I was like, yes, now's the time to buy them. And then I looked again, only to find that. They're back to their original price. So I'm glad I, buy, I bought them when they were. So this is the biggest castle. And now for the pans. Last but not least, the pans. The pans, everybody. Oh my goodness, I love the quality of this. Oh goodness, love it. Course, this is the smallest i am so happy with my purchase guys like i've got two pots three actually and three pans so i'm very happy now let's put these babies to the test okay the story about me and cooking <laughs> so um over 10 years ago i married a man who is not a foodie my husband is not a foodie guys those who know know he is not a foodie so my love for cooking died yes it died but anyway i was not a big fan of cooking i was never really a big fan of cooking but even the little cooking that i had the little passion was gone so that means in my house if we cook three times in a week sure that's a lot we have cooked that week but nonetheless we're gonna have a little meal prep here we are having some hake um with mashed potato and veggies so let me tell you my sister is a chef's wife so all of a sudden a girl can cook <laughs> because i guess um the chef wants proper food so if he can give proper food he'll probably expect uh, proper food as well so every time i'm about to cook something I'll call her and say, okay, Sissy, that mesh of yours, Gonjo, how do we do it? <laughs> then she'll give me the basics and then I'll come and tweak them. And then we get a meal. But today's meal, I shame this one worked out. I don't want to lie. So I boiled my potatoes in this new babies. So obviously if I'm boiling something, I'm not going to see how nonstick this, um, this pot is but the reason why i went for fish is simply because fish is very stubborn every time i buy fish yo guys like i don't know it becomes minced fish <laughs> i'm not laughing it totally becomes minced fish so today i'm hoping i'm gonna get 
a proper solid fish okay <laughs> because they said it's non-stick so after washing your fish guys you just dip it okay i dip it so that my my spices can sit there nicely hey can i tell you so i go to checkers i'm looking for six gun uh-uh there's no six gun what that's a spice <laughs> There is no six gun spice. What is this girl going to do without six gun? Guys, six gun is for us ladies who don't know how to cook. So if you don't know how to cook, invest in that spice, six gun. It's 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 for everything. You put it in everything and it will it will taste as if you can cook. But anyway, so in the absence of six gun, I then bought uh, spice for fish well it's spice for fish so it's going to be nice well i've used it before i know it's nice but yeah so i'm chopping up some garlic because i feel like a little bit of garlic on my fish and i'm gonna use spice for fish and lemon so i'm just gonna chop it as finely as possible this is not my favorite thing to do but for some reason i never buy that garlic you know the contained one the one that's preserved and already chopped for me for some reason i never buy that and yet i'm not a fan of chopping garlic but anyway so here we are there's my spice for fish which i'm just gonna sprinkle i'm not gonna add any salt so i'm gonna be very generous on this spice i'm gonna be very generous hey mara guys six gun i'm telling you so i normally buy six gun at macro or yeah i normally buy it at macro so my sister said because obviously i called and complained to say hey bo gandhi where's the six gun go check us and she said no um i normally buy mine at pick and pay so i hardly go to pick and pay but i do go to macro so i'll get it next time I'll get, oh, six gun guys on homemade chips actually six gun on everything okay so i just spread my garlic on that fish and just for for um frying ease i'm gonna cut the fish in half it's quite long as you can see i mean that's a that's a um what you call a cutting board so a cutting board is more or less 30 centimeters so that fish is quite long so i'm gonna cut it but then of course what is fish without lemon guys it has to have a lot of lemon it's like um slab chips without vinegar i don't understand it so for the sauce i'm just gonna go for mayo again i asked my sister and she was like ah just put mayonnaise and something and lemon and you'll be fine guys let me tell you about the spice garlic and hemp this spice it's like second hand it's it's like second uh helper to six gun they are cousins okay <laughs> they're not even made by the same brand but in my house they are sisters or cousins no let's make them sisters i use it in every little thing it it adds this flavor that i cannot explain but also guys i'm just a lover of garlic i love garlic so much so i'm just gonna add the spice black pepper and squeeze some more lemon in there so depending on how you want your the consistency of your sauce you can add more lemon or you can add more mayo so this time we're going for a thicker consistency there we go not so runny but at the same time not too thick so i'm gonna put that aside i mean there's nothing there that needs to be cooked moving on to the mesh hey guys so i took my whole set of spoons and gave it to my mom and now i don't have that that one from you know that one for mesh i do not have it but anyway let's fry the fish but uh, so fish that is fried in butter in terms of taste it's different from the one fried in oil guys for me right so i'm just gonna put my fish in the this pan is the biggest pan and it is huge this pan is big guys it is very big so obviously i could i could fit two more pieces there if i had prepared more so it took me about let's say under eight minutes yes it took under eight minutes to fry um this fish 
so we test non-stickiness <laughs> so i just shook up the pen just to see how non-stick this pen really is and so far i'm happy so let's turn these babies around um oh guys my goodness how good does that look it looks so so good and it's so tender um because it cooked so fast so i'm on high heat um and then i will tone down the heat in a bit but i fried pretty much on high heat so obviously i preheated my plate my my stove plate and then put the pan on there hence when i put the butter it just melted away so i'm just gonna tone down the heat maybe to a four so my stove's maximum is six so now i'm at a four add more butter because we like our fish tasting a whole lot of butter so that butter is just for taste otherwise it was not necessary in terms of making the or keeping the pot um non-stick so i'm just adding a little bit more flavor because i really want to taste the butter you know when i go to ocean basket for my prawns i always always ask for extra lemon butter sauce so i'm a butter person now for the real test of non-stickiness i'm happy for the for a change i have a solid fish so i just took my kitchen towel and i wiped off that pan and the pan was clean like guys it doesn't get better than this i can't wait to make omelets in this pans so i just wiped it clean obviously i'm still going to wash it but for the purposes of demonstration this is it my pan's clean no hassles no worries i'm happy with my purchase now going back to that mesh so like i said i gave all my spoons to my mom so i'm left with no mesh i'm just gonna add some mixed herbs i mean what is mashed potato without some herbs and then that uh, magic spice again <laughs> that magic spice of mine the sister to the six gun in the mashed potato i wouldn't put six gun i'll choose this one over the six gun and then of course milk you know guys there's this thing about me even when i do sweet potato i will add milk um, and butter so in sweet in, in potatoes i also add milk and butter um, except we're just gonna add a little bit of cheese as well so again depending on what consistency you want for your mashed potato you'll keep on adding milk and then of course I'll add my cheddar cheese for taste and for good looking but mostly for taste <laughs> so yeah my mesh is pretty much done like it's cooked it's ready i keep on meshing because it's not meshed 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 but hey it will mesh in the stomach way too i um i'm not gonna stress about that
and dinner is served dinner is served guys i'm happy this food was absolutely delicious and we've come to the end of this video thank you so much guys please do not forget to subscribe comment share and like this video i will see you in the next one bye